we must choose safe. Normal, safe. Okay, when we, then we go to the advanced setting. First is the factory setting. Here's the password. So normally we no need to go to the pa go to the factory setting. Here, you only need to go to the web setting. Here, choose the web file for printing. So here we have two different waveform file. When we open it, we can see the here have two hijet and standard model. So the hijet wave is used for print high cube material. That means the material is not flat with high cube thickness such as the dish ball, bas basket ball, or any high cube material like uh, tools like this. That means the material is not flat, not flexy. And then the another one standard is for print the material like a uh, uh, acrylic board, film, PVC board. That means the material is flat, is flexible, not cube, not high cube. The high cube means the cube thickness bigger than five millimeter or three millimeter. So use high jet. The flexible material we use by standard. And if you choose print with the high jet model, for example, right now I want to print on the basketball, it's with the high cube as eight millimeter. So we choose high jet. After we choose the high jet, we need to click apply to save it. After that, we need to also choose the waveform, default wave by zero. After we choose zero, then we go to file. We click save, save the parameter. Then this is the correct procedure. So remember, high jet wave match with default wave zero. And if we want to convert to flat material, we want to print with the flexible material. We need to convert to standard flash model. And also we choose apply, written the, written the parameter to the main board. Then we here we still need to choose wave one. That means one match with standard. Then we go to click save parameter. So that means one match with standard, zero match with the high jet. But if we're not sure if the setting is correct, we can go to file and we choose load data. Then the parameter will load from the main board. And here we can see standard is one. So it's wrong. We, uh, standard is one is correct. So just remember standard is one, high jet is zero. And here's no change, keep as default. And all of these are no change, keep as default. And other setting also also not changed. It's all for engineer setting. The user has no need to do any changing on the parameter. So this is all the that means in one word, you only need to change the wave option from the engineer model. The other option no change because all the parameters are setting and test before deliver and testing before the machine go to the customer site. So this is the factory setting. Then we go to fire and double click the fire and we go to task setting and choose the copies you want to print or just only one copies. For example, I want to print the two copies on the X. And then we go to setting here. And all the picture cannot over the area of this flat bit. The X, X maximal 
is 1.3 millimeter, 1.3 meter, and y maximum is 1.1 meter. After setting the margin and x y margin, and also we finish the detect of the thickness of the material to be sure the gap between the print head and the media is safety not scratch print head. Then we can go to start print. If we not finish the z axis detect, we go to detect again as before. After that, we just click print to start print the picture. And here have pause or cancel. If you print the wrong picture, you want to stop, you just uh, cancel. If you have any emergency issue, you just click pause. We can see it's print the uh, white color varnish by one pass print with high resolution. Here's varnish. Front is black, it's white, hello, and varnish. Print white, hello, varnish, by one pass. It's high resolution.